If we Republicans choose Donald Trump as our nominee, the prospects for a safe and prosperous future are greatly diminished. But you say, wait, wait, wait. Isn't he a huge business success? Doesn't he know what he's talking about? No, he isn't. And no, he doesn't. His, uh, Look, his, his bankruptcies have crushed small businesses and the men and women who work for them. He inherited his business. He didn't create it. And whatever happened to Trump Airlines? How about Trump University? And then there's Trump Magazine and Trump Vodka and Trump Steaks and Trump Mortgage. A business genius he is not. Remember back in 2016 when Mitt Romney laid into Trump's marketing strategy that he claims he's the best businessman to ever exist? It's one that helped get him elected, and MAGA supporters still believe it, despite the latest example that proves the opposite. President Trump's media company has had a volatile two weeks. Uh, the stock finished down about uh, 30 percent this week. The company, which operates Trump's truth social platform, lost $4 billion in market value after gaining $6 billion in value during its debut on the Nasdaq two weeks ago. For 2023, Trump media posted a loss of $58 million on revenue of $4.1 million. In a regulatory filing, the company also disclosed that its auditor had raised concerns about its ability to continue operating before its recent merger and IPO. It hit the market with a big splash, only to come crashing down to earth in just a few weeks. And back when it made those waves, Fox News conservatives thought it was confirmation of the decades-long marketing scheme that they had fallen for. I have always said this. Donald Trump gets really lucky. Oh, uh, this is how, what it is? Of course. Oh, it's the genius of True Social that has under 500,000 users like, through the last nine months of 2023. What have you built, Jessica? Yeah. Here we go. I mean, Are you guys kidding on. me? How many companies? No, I mean, I'm always interested. That, I love it well, when people have, who have a media footprint pretend to know how things are built. I don't know oh, no. how things are made. No, but I know that. I don't know, know anything about how things are made. I know that when something is doing well he's that people want to be yeah. on it look at all these buildings. and when they lucky no, he's uh, lucky yeah. he was a billionaire before this stuff uh, yeah, he was he uh, he had two billion just and invested he it in a savings account okay yeah and the, anyway, and, and, you know I, what? and the government no. tried to take his money <laughs> from him. they I want to lock him up they want his person. money and now they're furious because he's making money on his own and you know what no. it's poetic justice good yeah, for him it's great poetry it always amazes me that so many people that aren't financially benefiting from promoting Donald Trump as a wildly successful businessman are super committed to that narrative. They know that the image of him being a billionaire because of how much of a genius he is has fooled enough people into thinking it would benefit the country. And if his voters knew the truth, they have to find something else to base their support on besides his dismissive and racist-based politics. In the last nine months of 2023, Truth Social generated $3.4 million and it lost $49 million in that span. The valuation, which is $11 billion, compared to Reddit, right? Something that we've all been on, right? Something that people use. I, know, every I don't. Okay, you're on Truth Social, but not on Reddit. Anyway, their valuation was $6.4 billion. So you think that a site that has less than okay. half a million users, I mean, you this know, is what, you know these what are lost facts. Money? Electric pathetic. car companies. It's pathetic. I, I <laughs> this is pathetic. The man, look, the bringing you're Reddit into this born, conversation. It's because it's hatred, other companies that just had hatred, ideas. All these and, valuations are ridiculous, Jessica. Okay, then he's the game. Uh, it's like GameStop, okay, right? Okay, you know what? No? You know well, how you look not, at this? Because you I'm look at this. Oh, you're on Truth Social? I'm on Truth Social. Show it to me. I'm not having you look at my phone. Show me your phone. How, how <laughs> dare you, you Show fed. Me. You're a fed. Wow. I'm not sure if The Five has had the chance to revisit the topic since that slide happened, but the CEO of Truth Social, Devin Nunes, had some explaining to do. What can you tell us about the users of Truth Social right now and how they compare to your competition on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter? Well, you know, look, it's, you know, we're the only game in town. I mean, obviously those companies have been around for, you know, a decade, two decades, sometimes longer. And, you know, after that, we're the next big game in town and we're the only one that's going to be able to compete with them. Yeah. We're a home for everybody. We're a home for everybody, which is why it's not just President Trump, one of the most iconic brands in the last hundred years. I mean, that's a big reason why, yeah. you know, we, we know that we're popular. But at the same time, we're building quality technology that works and is unbreakable. So as Nunez and True Social go after the big names in social media, their pitch apparently is to claim that they allow free-flowing posts that don't get silenced. 
it'll have to be a change of plans. Is I thought it was first pitched as a place for MAGA conservatives to say whatever they want and not be challenged by those pesky libs that poke holes in their arguments with truth. And with Donald Trump posts being the only draw, the big tent idea might not draw as many users than they already have on board. So it's looking like it's going to be an uphill battle if investors listen to what other business figures have to say about Trump's troubled social media endeavor. For the early investors, all the folks that, that helped make this thing possible as we were kind of starved from the capital markets for what I think is the longest IPO in the history of the United States, uh, but we got it done. But I want to thank all of the initial and early investors that put in money in, into this project. You've seen this stock on the move in this, in this, I'll call it remarkable, maybe even crazy way. I just say two words, GameStop. GameStop, that's what you think is going on here. And it's a, I mean, it's ridiculous. Do you the company think, has no revenue. But do you think it could ever be a, a bigger business? Do you no. think if he wins the presidency, no. it becomes Why? a- Why? I'm asking- Why would it be bigger? Look, he's only interesting now because he's out there entertaining the folks. I hope if he does get elected, he just plays golf for four years, but- So do you think that all of the investors Investors in this are, are getting scammed? Do you think they think this is a transference of think, I think wealth I, from, from one side to the other, and that's the goal? What do you think is happening? I think they're dopes. I mean, who would buy a company that literally has, I mean, I think, what does it have, $30 of revenue? Uh, why would you put a, how could you put a value on it? They're buying it for other reasons, just like they bought theaters when there was no theater business or they bought GameStop or whatever. It's stupid. It's stupid stuff. It Why is. are you even talking about this? It's a scam, just like everything he's ever been involved in is some sort of con. Um, let me pivot. Amazing survival of a, of a con man is just beyond comprehension. But there it is.